Would you like to meet one-on-one -on -one with your clients during their coaching sessions? Well, gone are the days of needing to use a third-party video tool like Zoom or Google Meets. Now, with Kajabi's live video, you can meet with your clients face-to-face -face directly from inside the app. With this, your clients can experience a seamless interactive coaching experience, all accessible from inside their dashboard with a click of a button. Along with all their meeting details and the meeting's agenda laid out for them. Sounds great, right? Well, let's check out how to get it all set up. To begin, let's navigate to the Products tab from the dashboard and select Coaching. Then, click into the Programs option in the top menu. Now, we can either create a new coaching product or edit an existing one. If you haven't yet created a coaching product, make sure to check out the article below and we'll walk you through that creation process. But before we go any further, it's important to note that creating a live coaching session is only available if your coaching program is set to manual booking or the Kajabi scheduler. So, if you're creating a new coaching program, make sure to select either one of those two. But if you already have a program that you'd like to use, we can switch that over now. To do so, click into your program, then click Settings from the top menu. From inside the Settings page, scroll down to the Scheduling section and choose Manual Booking or the Kajabi Scheduler. Then fill out the fields. For the Manual Booking option, we can leave the Location section blank since this is an online meeting. Then, after we're happy with that, let's scroll back up to the top and click Save. Alright, now that we have the coaching program set to either Manual Booking or the Kajabi Scheduler, it's time to go live. Going live is going to depend on when our client's session is, and whether you have a program with multiple sessions or a single session, the process is the same. So, let's select our client that we'll be meeting with, and inside their profile, we can click Go Live at the top. And remember, you don't need to have a session scheduled to go live. However, if you do have a session scheduled, that'll show up in the client's dashboard here, next to their Join Session button, that they'll click to join the call. Now, after the client and I have both clicked Go Live, we can choose our camera, microphone, and where we want to hear our sound, as well as add any background effects, like a blur or a still image. And under the ellipsis icon, we can change our name and customize any settings. And when we're all ready to start our call, click join. Now, one thing that's very important before we wrap up is that these live meeting rooms that you and your client connect in are private meeting rooms, and as such, require you to click the Go Live button before the client can enter. If the client attempts to enter before you click Go Live, they'll receive a message indicating that they need to wait for the host to start the meeting. But once you press Go Live, they'll be prompted with the same pre-meeting configuration as you. And there we have it. That's everything there is to going live with the coaching app. If you'd like to learn more about how to create and customize a coaching product, make sure to check out our other articles that go more in depth on the subject. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.